Joe Garcia, hey, I'm glad you're here. When using 401k for a down payment, most require... Okay. It's usually if you click it on, so everybody else yeah. can read it. Oh. Yeah. I, can, I have those controls? Yes, you do. Oh, you under should comments. not have let me know yeah, that. Under comments. Of course. You're an <laughs> admin like me. All right. All right. So Go for it. Most require a lot of documentation before approving. How does this work when trying to make an offer, et cetera, but have to wait for a 40K approval? I would tell you to do it ahead of time right. to see what you're allowed to do. Because everybody's 401K, 403B um, have different requirements. Every company, because they're set up all differently by di Some different, different rules. Yeah. Sometimes you can take out 10, you know, 10 grand one time lump sum with no payments and that and that if you do that you don't get hit with the early withdrawal because you're using it for a home purchase right in conjunction you with will home still purchase. pay taxes on it so make sure they take it out at your current tax rate um, i've had it where they take usually they just set it at a 10 percent, and then you got 18 percent. you have to pay later mm -hmm. don't do that just have them take out more so that you're covered so start the process beforehand see what your 401k allows you to do and it's not necessarily an approval process. It's just a process it takes for it to well, go through. And, and then talk with your lender about it at, at the yes. same time. You know, this is what I can do. This is what I can get. This is what's going to cost me. And then, you know, so so you know what's going on. Right. The, this You just have to, because a lot of people think, I can just take it out. Well, not necessarily, right? Right. And, and now remember, if you have, if you work for a public service or the school system, you have STRS and PERS, you can't borrow against that retirement. That's Correct. Not your retirement. That is like social security. Yeah. So that's for the future. So start the process early to see what you can get out. Cause I've had a few clients that come to me and say, I have this. Well, I don't know how much you can take out. So contact them ahead of time, find that information out. Cause we're going to need to know if you're going to borrow against it and get that money, what's your payment going to be? So we can put that payment, in your debt to income ratio. Right. But if you get it one lump sum, we don't have to do that. So I recommend people get a lump sum if possible. Good advice from the lender and Joe. Thanks for your questions. Absolutely.